So we have one day left, okay? One day left before Sam has to go to work for six days, okay? So today we're building a couch. Okay, so the couch is going here, right? Basically where the drop part of the floor is. Yeah, so you can yeah. see the outline of it right here. And the couch is our utility section. So it's uh, the biggest garage space that we have. The couch is gonna be in this L shape here. And that's gonna be basically its standard space. However, it's gonna pull out here and form into a double bed as well. Also, since we need to, you know, access the batteries, access the heating pipes and anything else that we decide to store in here, it also needs to be accessible that way, so it also needs to lift up a three-way multifunctioning couch. The other thing about the couch, because this seat swivels around, the height of the couch is limited to just below the plate of where this swivels. So there's quite a lot going on. <laughs> Well, this, this is this is rather a high maintenance couch. Okay, so the um, the height of this is determined by the slats. Now the slats are 18 mil, and this is the contraption that uh, is going to be built behind. So you see these two plates here. So the top plate swivels on top of everything. Okay, so this has to be dropped at the very least below that line. Ideally, yeah. we should drop it below yeah. this one because. Uh, you know, yeah, uncertainty. I have a way to test his strength. You're gonna step on it, aren't you? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me know if something happens. All right, put your weight on it. Your weight's on. Yep. Honestly, it's fine. Considering the weight's gonna be spread out as well, not pinpointed on your toes. So that's that one. Now, this one should be simpler to put up because there's no rib nuts. There you go. All right, so now that the little shelves are up and the pipes are rearranged, we are about ready to start doing the legs. So we're gonna have five legs and th their height is determined by the shelves. This couch is a mixture of, again, wood and aluminum. Um, so the same way as the back bench and the same way as uh, the, like the back shelf. Um, it's sort of like a hybrid. We're gonna suspend our aluminum Acro across across these legs and that's going to provide us uh, hopefully with enough structure not to fall down I mean do we even need to screw them in? They seem to be doing all right by themselves, right? Well, if you choose not to screw them in, then you'll be the one testing it first. <laughs> Contraire, fine, fine. <laughs> the basic frame is up we need to measure how long we want our slats on either side so this is a pull-out couch so the slats will go from here gonna reach here and then some of the legs will definitely need to stretch beyond this bar to be attached to the uh, leg construction we're gonna we're gonna build afterwards right here so that section of the couch will be then be able to be pulled out and the slats will come out with it. Oh, and another thing is the hinging. So the couch is not gonna just pull out. When it's put away, you'll be able to open it and lift it via these hinges to be able to access all the utilities that you see here. So we also need to cut these little slats and prepare the hinges before we really start doing the slat measurements because this will affect the slat measurement. <laughs> Yeah. 
very elegant of you. No, mate. Go home. No. There's nothing here. Go home. And this is not home. People ask why I don't have a couch. It will be you. Don't disturb my cat. Seriously, no. Stop hitting me. She doesn't want you in here, okay? I'm stressing her out. Well, we need uh, these crossbars to join them together, but we also need to get the spacing right. So, we have calculated. Now, uh, okay, uh, first of all, this side is not going to be pull out. It's going to be just uh, standard bed slats, and, uh, and all they'll be able to do is act as a bed and be pulled up. Yeah. That's it. This side is the pull out side, hence, you have double the amount of planks, yep. uh, which will take a little bit more configuring okay so we're gonna start with the easy side <laughs> right so so th th these are the crossbars they've been hopefully measured and cut to the right length and this is a spacer of 65 mil wide and that's this has been all of our planks so the plan is to have a 65 mil gap and attach each of the slats to one another using our cross members crossbars you know, technically whatever. on this side what we could do is we can get all the spacing right and then screw them on top and then flip it because on this side it's fine. Give it a test. I know we don't have hinges, but... Well, what, what do you want me to test? Just lift it. Yeah. There you go. That's what it's supposed to do. So the hinges go on the back. But there you go. That's yeah. the plan. Alrighty. So for, for the pull-out bit, what we need to do is we need to construct the uh, pull-out legs. So obviously once the slats pull out, they either have to have some sturdy legs and framing to you know rest on, or you could use uh, runners. Now we can't use heavy duty runners because of our couch depth, so we're gonna have to construct legs for you know the, the bed to actually be a bed and not just on the floor. So what's happening here is our pullout is gonna have uh, two sections so they can pull out individually so we can uh, change the shape of the couch into uh, a C couch or a bed or an L couch depending on what we need. So. Yeah, it's a very complicated couch. It has a lot to live up to, okay? <laughs> so these legs are gonna have a platform. They're gonna rest on here. And then we have the aluminum coming on the top, yep. joining it here. Tiny bit. Yep. That, enough for pull-out couch, right? Yeah. Uh, guess, <laughs> guess we don't mind having a giant gap <laughs> roughly in the back butt area, right? Couch done, video done, we can go home and eat ice cream now. Can we have something salty today? Sure. Here you go. Right. So, this should work, right? This little section should pull out and should hinge up. So hinge up, I one finger at the front and that hinges up like that 
that comes all the way down. Not the most elegant on the floor. And now I pull, that comes all the way out here and it's even strong enough to support a human. Well, it's supposed to be. Yeah. I mean, this is without any cushioning either on it. So the cushioning will help spread the weight a bit better than just sitting on the planks directly. So we just need to carry on refining it here and there, just a few little niggles to work out. But repeat this, but twice to three times as big here. And that'll be good to go. So let's get cracking on that. Okay, so this is our basic couch. Now we need to just refine the motion because it is a little bit um, um, temperamental. Because the pull-out section is dipping down a little bit, yeah. it hits the back of this. So you have to pull that up. Yeah, so we need to, I think we need to chamfer the, the back of the, uh, the pull-out section. And then when you reach the front, the same thing happens. It hits right here. So yeah. I was thinking we can chamfer the front of the fixed slats. Yes. There you go. That's, that's that one. But lift up the big one. There you go. It lifts. And that's with the seats uh, normal. And that's how much access you have. So you have complete access for all the wires and cables yeah. and anything in there that we need to fix yeah. or look at. Yeah, so if you can come down so you can see both bars here. So this crossbar is attached to the pull-out slats and this crossbar is attached to the fixed slats. As we want to lift this, like that, uh, the two bars essentially drag the opposite slats up, okay, so because they're, they're interlaced. So that's why we can lift all of the slats at the same time, like so. Yeah. Does that make sense? Right, so they're back in after the sanding. So if you can see here at the, at the front, so these are the thick slats, the ones that don't pull out, and they've been chamfered. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and we've done the same at the back. So let's try now. All right. So I'll just keep it lifted. So I push it back in. Okay. And there you go. They go straight. So that chamfer allows it to go over this edge. There you go. See, they slot nice and comfortably. Yeah. Going there. So the last thing that we need to solve on this top part is how to keep the planks up when we pull it out so they don't drop at the back. So this is the thing we're trying for our, um, what is it, gravity resistant bar. <laughs> <laughs> is that what we're calling this thing? Well, I don't know, I just made it up. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, so, so technically these crossbars should rest on that bar. That seems sturdy enough for what it needs to be. All right, let's test this. So I'm gonna go all the way over here. That pulls out. One finger. One finger. Okay, much better. Still not the height of uh, sophistication and smoothness, but definitely better. I, I would call that um, a success. That's pretty okay. much. Yeah, that's um, working. So, the cladding. Here it is. <laughs> Uh, it is pre-cut and uh, uh, pre-painted uh, and if you're wondering how we prepared them then uh, go have a look at the, the wall cladding, the ceiling cladding or any other video, it's the same process. Bloody long. So this is just three more pop ply. Uh, it's been painted this nice sort of minty color. Hopefully it'll look nice on our couch. So uh, go! <music> I look then. I think it looks pretty like rustic yet simplistic and it matches the couch. I like it. The blue paint actually sometimes looks white, doesn't it? It sometimes looks bluer and then sometimes yeah. it's sort of what I imagine it. Okay. Okay, so. You know what this couch needs? Oh. Alright. Ha 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 ha. These are prototype cushions. Prototype. Right. And 
That's Christian. Alrighty then. There you go. Alright. Oh. Alright, so there's a few things we need to obviously work out. Our couch here needs a little bit more floor. <laughs> so be careful, don't put your weight on there. Overall, it is a full-size double bed extendable liftable couch. Okay, so that is the basics of the couch complete. We need, the, we need a few more couch cushions and stuff, you know, to, to lean on like a backrest and, yeah. and such. But overall, I think I'm pretty happy with it. I'm very happy yeah. with it. Yeah. It worked exactly as we had uh, sketched it and planned it because it's quite a complicated design yeah. actually i have sketched this couch quite extensively <laughs> uh, both on paper and digitally so i was thinking what would be nice if i actually package up all my notes neaten them up so they're understandable for somebody who is not in my head so if you want to sign up for the waiting list for the couch blueprints and such then the link for that will be in the description below but anywho couch the couch is Excellent. built we have a couch we technically have a double bed now as well. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, th this is an old mattress, so I think we might be upgrading it, and it's yeah. also pretty soft. <laughs> um, uh, but for, for starters, it's great that we can actually have somewhere uh, to nap yep. and, you know, sit around. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but it's good. And yeah. it's not it's not creaking or falling. 